If you're looking for the cheapest muck coins on the market and you need it delivered to you with the quickness, check out MMOAN.com. Use code CK for 10% off. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, man. This is one of those divisions that has a history of just insane rivalries that it might be a little bit too unrealistic to see this happen. But if this were to happen, they would have to come together like one of them Game of Thrones scenes and just proclaim Aaron Rodgers. The king of the north! Because that's who would be leading the way if this actually happened, man. A team of the best players in the NFC North would be led by the guy from Green Bay. The backup would be Kirk Cousins, and the third string would be Matthew Stafford. At least he's still on the team on the Detroit Lions, man. Running back, we have Tariq, the human joystick, Cohen, Dalvin Cook. So a nice little uh, tandem of two different run styles. So that's pretty dope. Carry on can do both, pretty much. You may be asking where Aaron Jones is. Well, he's on the team, but he's actually our starting fullback, which means he'll probably get more playing time to carry on. Uh, it is what it is. Is, man wide receiver we're stacked like some legos okay adam Thielen, stefan diggs Devonte. i mean that, that's probably the best trio of wide receivers in the nfl currently right now if this were to happen marvin jones jr as your number four along with alan robinson and kenny galladay bro that is disgusting yeah aaron Rodgers has plenty to throw to not to mention the tight end position trey burton kyle rudolph and jimmy graham it is just disgusting man o-line not too shabby either man bakhtiari ragnow some guys from the uh, Lions made this team same with the Bears and the Packers. Sorry, Vikings fans. Your O-line is just... Doo -doo. However, the Vikings do rebound quite nicely on their D-line and defense in general, man. They really have a lot of studs. They know Hunter being one of them. Akeem Hooks will be the starter at left end, however, man. Right end, we have Trey Flowers and Mike Daniels. The depth on his D-line is disgusting. Damon Snacks Harrison, one of my favorite players, one of the best players on this team. Leading away at D-tackle, Kenny Clark, and then Limbaugh Joseph. Always going to be a fan of him. You know, we share the same birthday, just by the way okay left outside linebacker Khalil Mack the sack attack okay Zadarius Smith behind him just in case you never know you could get tired Blake Martinez wrote Quan Smith and Danny Trevathan our MOBs not the best but they're not the worst right outside linebackers might be the uh you know least stacked position on this team man 80 overall Preston Smith being our highest Darius big play Slay Kyle Fuller our starting two cornerbacks Xavier in a slot with all that press we had Jair Alexander and Prince Amukamara. Uh, yeah, no one's passing against us. Free safety, Eddie Jackson, 91 overall. Strong safety, Harrison Smith. Adrian Amos behind him. And then <laughs> Clinton Dix as depth. Oh my goodness. This team is disgusting. Okay, 80% overall scheme fit for that. That's not going to cut it. Okay, maybe it will. 80% looks like the highest. 84. West Coast zone run. Yeah, that's all we need to do. That's all we have to do for the offense. Now, in terms of defense, 4-6 every time. Every time I do a simulation or experience experiment it's always very high but i just don't feel confident in that base three four i feel confident in that let's let's go with that one uh we're gonna go ahead and look at our regular season schedule obviously for the lions you know we poached so many players from the other teams in the division we should go undefeated or at the very least you know well above 500 man we still have a tough schedule holy crap the chargers eagles and chiefs three weeks in a row that is insane man. oh our prayers to you lions fans out there this year i don't know why you have such a tough start to your schedule play the nfc east uh, so you got to go against the cowboys and then we end off with people like the broncos the buccaneers i think we can do really well i'll simulate to the playoffs because i know we can make the playoffs then i'll play one of the playoff games The division went exactly as I expected it, man. You should have expected it too. You should have seen it coming. 15 and 1. No one else in the division won more than five games. And look at that. Our only loss was in week number two versus the Chargers. Man, Los Angeles is a very dangerous team. They have so much talent. Uh, they kept Rodgers in check. One touchdown, two interceptions. Melvin Gordon, 100 yards rushing, one touchdown. Eckler had two. And yeah, they cooked us. I'm glad we got our loss out of the way early because then we went on a ridiculous win streak of what? 14 games just disgusting man some of these games are actually close though 16 14 16 10 buccaneers played us close and then we ended off with two blowouts so we're doing pretty well okay aaron Rodgers led the league in passing touchdowns passing yards he was second i think he's gonna do that in real life too mark my words man he's gonna have a bounce back year Tariq did have the most rushing yards but he had a lot of rushing touchdowns Devonte killed it 14 receiving touchdowns fourth in the league and third most receiving yards not a bad season at all man look at this 44 touchdowns nine interceptions he always has a great touchdown the interception ratio dalvin didn't get much touches man 10 for 22 i thought he would be our power back i guess it was carry on stefan diggs 861 nine touchdowns trick burton 856 eight Thielen had seven man there was just so many people getting touches as usual i love to see things like this aaron Rodgers did a great job of spreading the football around amos led the team of tackles slate was right there khalil mack had the most tackles for a loss uh trey flowers and snacks harrison both had 12 but oh my goodness no one has ever done that 
23 sacks. Yeah, that, that has to be close to an NFL record, or it might be an NFL record. We will go ahead and check. That's more than the next two people on the team combined. How did he just do that? Four interceptions by Kyle Fuller. Three from big play. Slay Harrison had two, and Xavier had one. Defense was all over the place, as I expect them to be. This would be one of the best division teams uh, possible because they just have so many players on both sides of the football uh, a lot of high profile names and a lot of depth too it's an nfl record look at this man and beat out straight hand and gas to know holy moly what a season by khalil mack aaron Rodgers won mvp uh he had an incredible season but if uh my man's khalil mack didn't win defensive player of the year in the nfc i'm gonna actually end the video like I, i'm literally not gonna keep going okay there we go i was about to say aaron Donald was close best running back uh we didn't have anyone in the top 10 unfortunately man it was pretty much rb bc running back by committee yes i think i said that correctly man Devontae was the second best wide receiver in the nfc stefan made the top 10 there we go you like to see that bakhtiari killed it you already know what he does aaron donald best d lineman that makes sense oh trey flowers damon snacks harrison made the top 10 khalil mack best linebacker uh anyone could have predicted that tedrick thompson the best db though okay kyle fuller was there same with big play slay secondary was not bad at all they were not bad look at this matt prater in the top five for best kickers so the patriots beat the chiefs and what was a close game the cowboys beat the Seahawks. Hawks, the Bills beat the Chargers, and then the Saints beat the Panthers. So this is what we got to work with. The Bills and the Ravens, the Cowboys and us. So yeah, at least we got a home game. But yeah, that arm bar with Zeke is going to be tough. Patriots at the Colts, and then the Saints at the Eagles. In case you didn't already know, <laughs> look at all of these superstar X Factors on our team. Uh, yeah, it's going to get disgusting. We have four, what's that? Four on offense, one on defense, and Eddie Jackson. Then we have a lot of guys with superstar abilities. Look, it's just line after line after line. We begin on defense. We got to uh, make a statement. If we can stop Zeke in his running game will be looking good. It helps when you have one of the best run stopping D tackles in the NFL and Snacks Harrison as your starting D tackle. So I'm feeling pretty confident. They're going to run the ball again, though. They're not going to stop feeding my man Zeke. You saw the contract they gave him. A lot of freaking money for a reason. He was a stud. Here's a big third and seven. There's so many people to guard, I couldn't get out there, but Fuller could. It's going to be a fourth and one, and they're going to punt it. Wow, okay. Great job by the defense. Let's go. Whenever I do franchise experiments, I got to go with coach suggestions just to make it a little bit more challenging. First and 10, we're going to slants. Let's warm up Aaron Rodgers in his arm, baby. Nice pass. Oh, my goodness. What a hit. Note to self, do not throw it over the middle. Jesus. Jalen Smith. You don't have to hit my people that hard. There we go. Nice catch right there. Nice first down. Burton right there making a play. I, I'm not calling any run plays just yet. I just want to see if we can pass against this team. Maybe to open up the run. Oh, God. No. Maybe I should have ran it. I probably should have ran it right there. Either that or cancel the play action. Either of those options would have been better than just taking a second. This is a playoff game. They're going to be going crazy. They going hard. Oh, God. The block shed right there. At least we get some yards. Carry on. Nice job. That's what it was. That's why Dalvin didn't get too much tick in the regular season. He just wasn't the best power back, I guess. I don't know. I didn't make the depth chart. You know, I just put people on the team. Oh, God. No. I got to get rid of it. They just played great defense. So far, it's a defensive battle. First and 10. Let's keep it that way. Do not want these dudes to start scoring. Pretty sure all Zeke has to do to activate it is get like 10 yards a carry for three carries in a row or something crazy like that man it's gonna be tough to stop from doing that amari with the first down i'm kind of nervous because say what you want about dallas they have a talented roster especially on offense yeah it's a scary team to go against very scary team look at zeke just carry folks you have less than one minute left in the first quarter and they're moving the ball they're almost in the red zone they're already in field goal range it's kind of tough to stop them it's kind of tough to stop them but i'm gonna do my best with the hit man third and four using eddie jackson watch the middle of the field Let's go, Dak. Yes, sir. Fumble. Beautiful play right there. Khalil Mack with the forced fumble, man. The dude makes plays. One of the best in the league. Look at this. Now it's what? A 56, 57 yarder and he missed it wide right. Nice. I know. I didn't run the ball enough for my first drive, but I feel like I got to pass it again. I just I feel confident in passing. Oh, God. Square. No. All right. I'm running. I promise I'll start running. Yeah, I thought the O-line would be not a liability, but not the strongest part of this offense. And so far, that's the truth, man. And we're struggling to stay in front of these dudes. We are struggling. R1, I'm just going to throw it up. No, I'm not. Demarcus Lawrence is a tank. Literally, that's his nickname. How many more times am my defense going to have to bail me out, man? Just please keep doing it. Yes. You throw. Please keep doing it. Oh, my goodness. He just shrugged off that dude, Zeke. Relax, bro. Can't see here and say it's not realistic, though. One-on-one in the open field with a cornerback. Zeke's probably going to win that matchup. 
eight times out of ten, I want to say. At least. Okay. Nice tackle right there. But they do get the first down. Pass the ball. Deep. Yeah, third test my secondary. Please stop running the ball. We can't stop, Zeke. Please. No more of that dump off stuff. We shade underneath. Protecting the sticks. Can we get another sack, Khalil? Can we get another sack? Big play here. No way. That is a dot right there. I cannot sit here and lie to you. All right. See how quick they're getting rid of the ball? Yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do when I get back on offense. No more of these long developing plays. Just going to have to, you know, get rid of it. Gonna have to throw the ball with quickness. No way. Wow, what a route. Oh, they didn't give him the touchdown though. Coach has me send the blitz. Second initials are passing. I did not expect this to happen. And that's the touchdown that we are trying to avoid. Quick passes every single time. I, I, I say Demarcus Lawrence. He has his expected ability. Yeah, we're gonna have to get rid of it quick. Come on. There we go. R1, let's go. Nice, yeah, nice yards after the catch. There we go. So much time still running off the clock. Damn it. This is not good. R1 again. R1 again. Trey Burton. Good job. I knew the Cowboys were good, but holy crap. When did their defense get this good? This is unbelievable, man. Third and 10. You can't even move the ball. Okay, square. Let's go. Beautiful catch. First down. If Diggs is open on this uh, RPO, though, I'm going to give him the ball. Okay, he's open. Bitch no, he's not. Oh, my goodness. The dude baited me. First half was abysmal. We scored zero points. Uh, we just have to get our offense going. At least we get ball to begin half number two. X is wide open. Trey Burton has been killing it all game. I would have loved to reek in the game for this situation, but it's all good, man. Thielen is not going to be open. Oh, my God. Look at this. We can't stop Demarcus. Comes a second and 26. Tariq, I'm going to give it to you. Let you do your thing. Let you get them yards after the catch. Beautiful job. Had to do something to slow down this pass rush. I'm going to double team Demarcus on his big third and 16. Let's throw a dot here, brother. Let's throw a dot. No one's open. Go off field. Oh, circle. I'm going to you. I'm going to you. Let's go. Damn it. They're clamping me up. This is unbelievable. The Cowboys defense is incredible. You know, they just want to run the ball with Zeke. I don't blame them. That's exactly what I would do. You have the lead in a playoff game for a chance to go up two possessions. I'll do the same exact thing. No, I just missed the tackle. This is very tough, man. First and 10. We got to get something going here. We just have to. Okay, square. Let's go, baby. Thielen. First down. All right, this play looks pretty dope. We have Aaron Jones out of the backfield doing a Texas route. I believe that's what that route is called, man. Digs in motion. Let's see who can get open. Come on. R1. Yes, sir. Aaron Jones. Beautiful. Look at him cook, man. I told you he would eat at full bag. I'm not even looking at three. I'm getting seven. 100% getting seven on this drive. It's just a matter of when. Oh, that's a face mask. Let's go. And I'm looking for Thielen on this corner route. Let's go. Yeah, Thielen. Beautiful route. That's a touchdown. One possession game. I think what I'm going to do is not use a Harrison anymore or the safety that's back there. So this time it's Eddie Daction because they're our last line of defense and I can't be missing tackles with our last line of defense. Look at how easy Zeke gets to the second level. I think one more run over 10 yards and he's in the zone. We cannot let this happen, boys. Come on. First and 10, 37. Might be the last play of the third quarter. Run the ball again. There's nothing I can do. Oh, big hit by Harrison. Start the fourth quarter. This is crazy. Oh, nice block shed right there. Come on. Harrison, beautiful tackle, third down. Humongous third and one. I'm going to bring up both safeties and just hope for the best, man. Come on. Let's go. Come on. No, where are the block sheds? Damn it, Zeke. This is unbelievable. Dak is throwing the ball like five times. I'll make it six now. Make it. It's another dump off. I was right there waiting for it. <laughs> I'm not worried about it, man. Just bring up both safeties. You know they're running the ball. Look at the formation. Come on, it's a counter play. Oh my God, Zeke, chill, chill out. Oh, another big hit, but he gets the first down. And all my ears playing bad. Now I think I've been this scared of a player in the zone. And they pass the ball. Zeke is in the zone and you pass the ball. We have to intercept this. We have to intercept. He caught that. What is going on? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. No way that happened. No way that just happened. I'm throwing the challenge flag. I'm throwing the challenge flag. This is unbelievable. Who is Who is my linebacker right there? Roquan Smith? Okay. Very talented. Look at that. His left hand. No way he caught that. No, what? The ball got out before he even touched the ground. That's, come on. I was about to say. Second and 10. Now they're running with Zeke. I'm sending the blitz. All out blitz. Show blitz. Everything should point towards the run. Come on. what I say? Half bad draw. Let's go, baby. Oh, there's a flag. Please be holding on offense. Please. Looks like it's against the offense. Bring it back even further. Do not let these dudes get in field goal range. Our only hope right now is to keep it a one possession game. I know I said I wouldn't use your Harrison like that anymore, but in a situation like this, I want to. I want to. Oh, my God. Oh, nice tackle, boy. Play action. Yes, they're passing. Imagine passing when Zeke has his armbar <laughs> X-Factor ability. Oh, my goodness. That's an interception. That's an interception. Dumb decision. Dumb play call. I'm taking it out. I'm taking it. Probably not the smartest thing to do, but hey, we got the ball. And look at Aaron Rodgers. He is in the zone. So this is beautiful. Don't throw repeated incompletions. Don't worry. I'll do my best not to, man. Here we go. Screen. Oh, God. They're all over it. Okay, Tariq. Nice catch right there. Tariq is an animal. He's down the sideline. Look at this dude cook. 
One of the most exciting players in the NFL, in my opinion, man. First and 10. Taking off of Rodgers. He has wheels. You forgot about that? Did you forget? I think you did. So much running back depth. It's crazy. Carry on this time. You're going to get the carry. And we're going to get the first down. Nice cut bag, boy. Cannot even lie to you. I'm nervous as hell. But we've seen Rodgers time and time again come up clutch. So I'm not too worried about him doing what he needs to do. Not worried about him. I'm worried about me. I'm worried about me. Damn it. I'm worried about Demarcus. We're going to block the tight end and double team Demarcus. He's in the zone. I have to. Carry on's in the game as well. We're just hoping someone can beat their man. And let's see what happens. Okay, circle. I see you. Nice, nice route right there, Thielen. Keep cooking. Run the ball. Third and four. Carry on. I trust you. Look at the run right there, the vision. Easy first down. Four verticals is the play call. Who's open? R1, I'm going to you. I'm going to you, baby. Nice job out of the backfield. Carry on out of bounds at the eight. I think I'm going to block him right here. He's probably too tired to get open. Diggs, please get open on this post. On this mini post. He's open. Come on. That's a touchdown, baby. Tie ball game. OT. Here we come. There we go. The toss. Cowboys get the pick. And we won the toss. Let's go. We get to receive. This is surprising because every time Rodgers is in an overtime game, for some reason, he just always gets unlucky. He never gets to see the ball on offense. So I'm hoping we can move on to the next round. Now that he will. Now that he will see the ball on offense. Carry on. Almost gets loose. LBE with a nice tackle. Hopefully, Devontae can get open on the zig route. One-on-one -on -one man coverage. Come on, Devontae. Beautiful route. First down. His first reception was a huge one, man. That moved the chains. And now we're going back to the run. Let's go. Look at the blocks. Look at the boss. Carry on off to the races. Carry on Johnson to 40. He's at the 30. He has speed at the 20. He's at the 10. We're moving on to the conference championship game. Started off a little shaky. Not going to lie to you. Two touchdowns, two interceptions. Rodgers bounced back quite nicely. Zeke killed us on the ground. 112 and a touchdown. But carry on. Proving why he gets so many carries, man. Making them count. Thielen stepped up. Uh, Burton was killing it. And then we also had guys that made huge plays at the end, like Tariq on that screen. Uh, Aaron Jones even caught a ball back for Remember, he was playing fullback. Devontae with a huge catch. Everyone contributed. And now we're moving on to the next round. So, two dome teams are going to go at it in the conference championship. We're playing against the Saints. I'm going to simulate to the Super Bowl and just find out if this division can get it done. In a conference championship round, the Patriots lost to the Ravens by two scores. And then our team obliterated the saints to move on to the super bowl where we played the ravens and we won 28 to 7 the kings in the north ended up getting it done man rogers was flawless throughout this playoff run throughout this season carry on with another touchdown on the ground same with Tariq and this team they just got it done i told you there's too much talent on this squad not to get it done uh so your answer is yes the best players from the nfc north could come together and win a super bowl man hopefully you guys did enjoy it. we're going back to the AFC for the next one let me know which division you want that to be that we haven't already done yet man thank you so much for watching please go ahead and drop a like on this video if you did enjoy also don't forget to subscribe and as for me